Let's take a look at how to calculate mean. What is the mean round to one decimal place? Okay, well that vocabulary word mean is another word for the average. So to find the mean or the average of a set of numbers, you add them all together and divide by how many numbers you have. Okay, so I would say eight plus two plus seven plus eight plus five. And then once I add them all up and see what I get for my answer, I'm gonna divide by how many numbers there were. So you have to count one, two, three, four, five. If there were five numbers, I would have to divide that answer by five to get the mean or the average. All right, so eight plus two plus seven plus eight plus five. Okay, that adds up to a total of 30. And then I still have to divide that total by five since there were five numbers. Okay, and 30 divided by five gives me six. So that means the mean or average is six. Okay, so again, we're gonna find the mean. This time our numbers are six, four, four, two, and 10. Okay, well you always add them up and divide by how many numbers there are in your set. So six plus four plus four plus two plus 10. Okay, and there's one, two, three, four, five numbers. So I'm gonna divide that by five. Okay, six plus four plus four plus two plus 10. That's gonna give me 26. And then I'm gonna to have to divide by five since there were five numbers. Okay, well 26 divided by five gives me 5.2 for my mean or my average. What is the mean? Round to one decimal place. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding up those numbers, 10 plus three, plus eight, plus eight, plus one. And then whatever I get is my answer, I'm gonna divide it by how many numbers there were. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's add 10 plus three, plus eight, plus eight, plus one. Adds up to a total of 30. And then I need to divide that by five. And 30 divided by five gives me six. So that means our mean or average is six. Okay, let's find our mean. And notice it's the same process. It's always add up all your numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. Now guys, in this case, there's five numbers again. It's just a coincidence that all of these problems have five numbers in them. If there were six numbers, I would divide by six. If there were seven numbers, I would divide by seven. So make sure you're always counting to see how many numbers you need to divide by. One, two, three, four, five in this case, but always count to see. It's not always gonna be five. Okay, when I add up all those numbers, that gives me 27. And then I still need to take that and divide it by five and that gives me 5.4 for my mean or my average.